Well, another country did it. Another huge catalyst for Bitcoin and for crypto was just announced. It was actually announced in a different language on X. I want to cover it because some people might not see it. Otherwise, some people might not understand it. And some people definitely don't understand how big a deal this is. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one. Especially if you've seen videos on this channel before, you might as well hit subscribe because we're not going to finish. We're not going to we're not going to be done publishing new videos anytime soon. There's going to be a crazy bull run and you want to make sure you get the alpha as quickly as possible. So do that underneath the video. While you're down there, there's a link to Margex. There you can trade cryptocurrency on leverage. This is one of the best apps out there, one of the best exchanges out there. There's no KYC. There's no VPN. You can use different kinds of collateral. So if you want to trade the Bitcoin chart because it's easier to tell where Bitcoin's going, you can use different kinds of collateral collateral you can use bitcoin you can use usdc you can use xrp and you can grow those bags while you're trading a different chart we are are also um, able to pull some strings and get new cryptos listed there too so check that out underneath the video now crypto is looking pretty good i mean there are alts ripping like solana some meme coins are ripping today too bitcoin kind of a quiet day everyone's gearing up for the next couple weeks when we have the hopefully the SEC approval on the spot Bitcoin ETF, but something big was just announced, something that some people don't understand. Argentina's Minister of Foreign Affairs affirms Bitcoin's acceptance for contract agreements. This is this says Bitcoin Magazine, but this is actually on nasdaq.com. Now, what happened was this. In a, ground, in a groundbreaking statement, Argentina's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Diana Mondino, has confirmed the country's stance on embracing Bitcoin for contractual agreements. Breaking Argentinian, Argentina minister says we ratify and confirm that Argentina contracts can be agreed in Bitcoin. Now, they don't really explain what this is, what this means. We're going to have to hear more about, but we know that Javier Malay, who's the new president, is very pro Bitcoin. He's very against central banks and for good reason. Keep in mind, we in the US have a lot of debt, $33.8 trillion. We have $700 million a year. We just have to pay on interest. And this is because we decide to print. We decide to go at a deficit. We have three, four percent inflation. Other countries have much higher than this. Argentina's over a hundred percent. So we continue to see Bitcoin hit all time highs day after day there. Same thing with other countries. We're lucky if you are in the US, UK, uh, Dubai, you're lucky because you don't have some of these same issues that people in these smaller countries have. Now, what does this mean exactly? Well, it's not necessarily uh, legal tender yet, but we may be moving that way. We know El Salvador has recently adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. You might be saying that wasn't recent. That was a long time ago. That was a couple of years ago. That is recent when it comes down to how countries move, right? How fast do countries move? Obviously, very slowly. So someone like uh, El Salvador adopting Bitcoin, that was recently. They have a GDP of $28.74 billion. Keep in mind, that is lower than some tech companies here in, in the S&P 500 in the US. This is smaller than a lot of tech companies. So when we look at Argentina... Their GDP is 487 billion, over 15 times larger. El Salvador's population, 6.3 million. We have the population of Argentina at 46 million. So not only do they have a lot more people, not only do they have a lot more GDP, they also have more GDP per capita, per person. So this is a big deal. This kind of paves the way for more adoption over in Argentina or in other countries too. We know several countries uh, are mining Bitcoin, stacking Bitcoin, getting ready for the next bull market, which sounds crazy. But with institutions coming in, some countries realize there's not like a lot of time, especially when you look at how much money BlackRock, Fidelity, these companies make and how much they have access to. Some of these smaller countries aren't going to have a lot of time to be able to buy Bitcoin at these prices. So they want to get a little bit of Bitcoin now. They want to get in the Bitcoin game. Now, We'll wait to hear more. I'm sure, I I shouldn't say I'm sure. I 
think that there's a very good chance that Argentina will start buying or will accept Bitcoin as legal tender, will make more news in the Bitcoin realm in the next year or two. Especially as price goes up, they want in on this and the president has been very pro Bitcoin in the past. I'm sure he just well, he just got in office about a month ago. I'm sure he's just trying to get a lay of the land at this point. He's not trying to make massive change yet. He's trying to get the job done. He's trying to get an understanding for what they have to do. Now, keep in mind, we do have another big event. One today, one tomorrow. Kathy Wood is going live with Elon at 5 p.m. Eastern time. That's going to be about two hours from the recording of this video. I'll do a video if there's anything big. I'm going to be out with family, though, at that time. Keep in mind, if there's something big, I'll step out. I'll tell them I'm going to the bathroom, right? My dad will know because he watches these videos, but everyone else will just be sitting there. Now, this is going to be talking about AI. I think probably mostly AI and Twitter, Tesla, that kind of stuff, but then also Bitcoin. Now, Kathy Wood has talked about crypto a lot before, but this is, this is a sign of the bull market. The fact that she's talking about this in her limited time with Elon tells me they both are bullish on Bitcoin. We already know that. They both hold Bitcoin, probably personally, but also they have funds or they have it at their companies. Um, so they are bullish on crypto in the long term. I wouldn't be surprised either if Tesla goes and announces here soon, probably in the next few months, that they're accepting Bitcoin again or that they bought some more Bitcoin or something. They announced something with Bitcoin. Now, if that doesn't happen, it's fine. They still hold $300 million. I think it's $300 million. It might be a little bit more with the price appreciation of Bitcoin. So either way, it's fine. And then tomorrow, I don't have it pulled up, but we do have PCE, which is um, another inflation gauge, not CPI, not PPI, but PCE. This is the Fed's in preferred inflation gauge. So we could have some big moves on crypto because of that or in the general stock market. Obviously, if inflation continues to come down, the Fed is pretty, I, I think, pretty eager to start cutting rates in the new year. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get those um, and we get more dovish talk here soon, which helps the entire crypto market, obviously, as people flood out of treasuries and savings accounts into risk assets. Now, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Let me know if you think that this is something that's really going to push up crypto, this Argentina news. Again, I think it's just something that a lot of people won't see for a little while, especially if you're not dialed into crypto Twitter. Like this was just announced in the last hour, hour and a half. So if you're not in crypto Twitter, you probably aren't going to see this very soon. And a lot of people just don't understand the long term, the long term implications of this. And just to be clear, it's basically saying and I know I didn't hit on this much because it's not real clear what they're talking about, but they say that it can basically be used, it sounds like, um, in certain contractual agreements. Now, think about if Argentina all of a sudden starts making contracts with other countries in Bitcoin. Like, hey, we'll do some trade with you, send us Bitcoin. Or they make it legal tender or... They allow you to start paying taxes with Bitcoin. Certain countries uh, allow that already. Keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of news probably in the meantime. Uh, as they move further down the line in their bullishness on Bitcoin, there's going to be like different milestones. So we'll continue to keep up with that. Thank you so much. Check out the links to Marjax. And if you want to Blowfin as well underneath the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.